is an excellent video in which you will understand how do we sketch absolute function combination graphs. So we have the equation y equals to absolute value of x plus absolute value of x minus 2. We'll actually follow two different approaches to sketch the graph and I hope that will help you understand the concepts. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will learn strategy to graph an absolute function, rather a combination of absolute function. We need to sketch graph of y equals to absolute value of x plus absolute value of x minus 2. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. To sketch this graph, we can follow a couple of strategies. One of them is to rewrite the functions, right, and understand what these functions individually are. Well, absolute value of x is equal to x for x greater than or equal to 0, and is minus x for x less than 0. As far as absolute value of x minus 2 is concerned, that is also a piecewise function which can be written as x minus 2 for x on the right side of the vertex, which is at 2, right? Or it is minus of x minus 2 when x is less than 2. So that tells you that the absolute value function could be, you know, different in different intervals. So the idea here is to add the values of the function in respective intervals. Well, there are three intervals to consider, right? Since uh, what we really have here is different values when x is less than 0 and between 0 and 2 and then greater than 0. So we can divide the whole plane into the three intervals and then work on them separately. So first we'll consider when x is less than 0, then we'll consider when x is greater than 0 and less than 2. Well, we can consider greater than or equal to in this interval. And then we can consider x greater than or equal to 2. So in these intervals, if x is less than 0, in that case, we can rewrite the expression, which is absolute value of x plus absolute value of x minus 2 as what? Well, in this interval, absolute value of x is negative value of x. And here also, x minus 2 is negative, right? So negative of x minus 2. So what we get here is negative 2x and minus and minus becomes plus. So we get plus 2. Makes sense. So that becomes the equation which is the sum of these two absolute value functions when we are considering on the left side of y-axis. You get the idea. So what we get here is if I consider x to be 0, it is 2, right? So, so here we go, it is 2. And then the slope of this is minus 2, correct? As we go further up, you can also substitute the values and then figure it out, right? So if I substitute, let's say, uh, so at 0 it is 2, right? So let me write 0, 2, first thing. at 0 it is 2. Right? So that is at 0 we have got a point 2. Now if I put minus 1 here then the value will be if I put minus 1 right because it is on the left side so minus 1 and minus 2 when multiplied gives me 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4. So here we have a value which will be 4. You get the idea. So you can see that the gradient is negative 2, right? So, so on this side of the graph, it is kind of like this. So we have sketched left side of 0. 
Now, let us consider the center portion which is between 0 and 2. So, in that case, absolute value of x, let me take a darker ink, plus absolute value of x minus 2 can be written as, that becomes positive, right? But this still remains negative of x minus 2. So, that portion can be written as x minus x is 0 and minus times minus 2 is plus 2. So, in this portion between 0 to 2, it remains 2, correct? So, let me sketch this portion from 0 to 2 connecting the two points. Right, so, we get this portion as a flat portion. The combination is constant value of 2. Now, let us consider the third region. The third region here is when x is greater than 2. Both are positive. So, absolute value of x plus absolute value of x minus 2 can now be written as x plus x minus 2, which is basically equal to 2x minus 2. Correct? So, substituting yeah. the values, if I substitute 2, I get 0. Right, and if I substitute 3, 6 minus 2 is 4, right? So we get the graph going up like this. You get the idea. So that becomes the graph of the function by the co combination, right, of these two absolute value functions. Now you see the strategy is very clear, and that is you write the function as a piecewise function and then join them together in three different intervals to get their respective equations and you get the curve as shown here for the function right now you could also approach the same question graphically right so let's have a graph direct right as a combination of the two so we'll now graph absolute value of x plus absolute value of x minus 2 by combination of these two graphs right so, let us consider the first function absolute value of x, which you know is kind of like this, right? So, vertex at 0, right? And then it goes up both sides. So, that is the absolute value of x. Now, let me sketch the other graph, which is absolute value of x minus 2. So, the same thing, but shifted two units to the right, correct? So, that becomes the graph add two units to the left, it becomes like this. Either so, these are the two graphs, right? So, this is the graph of absolute value of x minus 2. So, now their combination, we could see which is, we are saying y, which is absolute value of x plus absolute value of x minus 2. So, let me sketch that graph by combining each and every point. So, if you see at 0, we get the net point here at 2, right? And if I move left, I have to move one unit up, right? So, each point. So, you see that? So, on the left side of 0, we do get a graph as we got last time. Now, here, if I add 1 and 1, I do get 2. So, we have a flat region, right? And as we move on the right-hand side, we have to add the numbers respectively. And so, we get a graph which is very similar to what we sketched earlier. So, what you could do here is to graph individually, right? And then combine. You can say add them. So, that is also a very good approach. So, you could adopt any of these approaches to sketch and what you get is what I just showed you. So, these are the two graphs. Well, this is the graph of absolute value of x and that is the graph of absolute value of x minus 2 and when you add them up, you get the graph of y which is the combination shown in red here. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So, that is how you could actually sketch this particular function. Great. Now, once you have sketched this function, here is a test question for you. The test question here is to solve a system of equations 
which involve the function we just sketched, which is absolute value of x plus absolute value of x minus 2 and y equals to x minus 1 whole squared. I hope you find this interesting and useful and this solution which you see is very practical and both the approaches which we have taken are very important strategies to sketch such functions. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your valuable time and all the best.